Hello YouTube, this is Ojama the Bomb, bringing you a little list on the, what appears to be the OCG ban list. So we're not sure how it's going to affect the game over in the UK and the USA, so we're going to have to wait to find out whether this list is accurate or not is another question. For the forbidden list, we have Brio, the Brianax, the um, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Dark Arm Dragon, Card Destruction, Mind Control, Sangan, Wind Up Hunter, Black Cluster Soldier, uh, Electric, um, Electric, um, E Hero, Electrum, and Monster Reborn. Now, Brio, Dark Arm, Brio, Black Cluster Soldier, Hunter, and Sangan, I can see really affecting the game because Synchro weren't entirely dead with um, Brio still around, um, and Sangan and Black of the Soldier were stable cards in almost any Chaos deck, so it could get screwed up there, and with Sangan going, uh, with Hunter going as well, uh, this could be a little bit odd. Uh, now with uh, Mind Control, Card Destruction, uh, Electrum and Reborn, now Card destruction didn't see much play. Uh, mind control on the became a staple. It was a staple, really, in most decks. Uh, Electrum, no one really ran the whole chain material using Gate Hero, so I can't see it being too much an issue. And Monster Reborn was a staple. People are really going to need to think outside the box now in order to get these things rolling again. Luckily, some decks have their own form of Monster Reborn, like Wind Out and Wrath, so it should be alright on that. For the limited list, we have Rescue Rabbit, Dark, um, Dark Magician of Chaos, Super Polymerization, Insector Centipede, Witch of the Black Forest, Ultimate Offering, and Solemn Warning. Now, Rescue Rabbit, Super Poly, and Insector Centipede, um, and Warning, those are the four I want to talk about, um, mainly. Uh, Rescue Rabbit and Super Poly are obvious. Two of the main cards used in, well, obviously, the Rescue Rabbit deck and the E Hero decks. Um, Rescue Rabbit obviously got spammed with Levier to make God knows how many more at um, attack, well, God knows how many more monsters like Dolkers, Lagias, um, and so on and so forth, so you can negate everything your opponent does, which got really irritating after a while. Um, and then you have your super polys, which was one of the key factors in Hero. Just because your opponent would go, yeah, I'll bring up BLS, super poly, I'll fuse mine with your one to be able to go into this, the shining or whatever, and really screw things up for your opponent. So that's the reason why I think they hit super poly with that. Insector Centipede probably was one of the main factors of a element um, of a Indexa deck because Dragonfly in his own was alright um, but without Centipede um, being at 3 so you could just spam Centipede keep adding things to your hand if you run like 2 Gigamantis you could put 2 Gigamantis in your hand with the 2 special summons um, equip both of them with like um, Hornets and other things add more cards to your hand build up a nice big hand so even wind ups can't loot you that well and you can still get 2400 point beat sticks onto the field. I believe that's what they, um, they're trying to avoid with Insector Hornet now. So, I mean, yeah, Hornet, well, Hornet was one of the key factors of an Insector deck, but I think they kind of hit the nail on the head with um, Centipede. Uh, and Solemn Warning, Solemn Warning was, I actually agree with because paying 2000 life points is a very hefty cost. Very hefty indeed. There's no way of telling exactly what were you gonna do in that because most of the time when you got Solemn Warning or a second one, you're always on like a thousand life points. How many people have actually had this? You're always on a thousand life points and you never got to use it, you had to put it down as a bluff. That's pretty much the case. But even then, once you put it down, you you top deck of gauze. Now everyone's done that at least once. If you've had a solemn warning, you can't use it, you put it down as a bluff, and next time you top deck of gauze. Which is really annoying. Um, and the other cards are on there, Dark Magician of Chaos. I don't see that being that much of a broken card. I really don't. Um, Witch of the Black Forest is going to be interesting. Because they've got Sangan banned, 
Um, which of the back four instant provision you do not know works on defense? It searches out a monster with 1500 or less defense. So it could be very interesting to see that. Um, and then you've got your ultimate offering at one, which I'm probably thinking they are they are most likely doing that to try and avoid uh, Giganos when they come out because Giganos obviously work on machines so they can work well with gadgets. Um, for the semi limited cards, you've got one for one, emergency call, or e emergency call, legendary six samurai Shien, and gladiator beast bestiari. Now, one for one is a card I do not um that I believe does not see a lot of play these days. Um, maybe Infernity will get a bit of pay off of it. I mean, who knows? Uh, e emergency call is quite possible. I can actually see that screwing up. They seem to hit heroes mostly around here. With um, with like uh, the yeah, it actually does look like it. I mean, they've hit the um, they've banned the main card in wind up, which is Hunter. Um, they've limited Rabbit, and they so um, they limited Super Poly and semi limited the emergency call. But it looks like they're hitting heroes quite hard. Um. Legendary Six Samurai Sheen, I can actually see why because they recently released the structure deck. They want to give, or well, they re-released um, Six Samurai Sheen into a super rare. So I can honestly, I honestly kind of saw that coming. They were going up to semi limited because they wanted to give it a push. And glad it'd be Bestiari. Well, glad it's a kind of a dead format now. So two beast, um, two Bestiari may actually just give it the push it needs. Kicking the nuts. Uh. For the no longer restricted cards, you have Necro Gardener, Primal Seed, and Formula Synchron. Now, Necro Gardener is a classic, classic card, um, mostly used in decks such as Light Swarms to be able to defend and also, like, for the defensive purposes, so you get your Judgment Dragons out. So, having three of those might be beneficial. Primal Seed, I haven't even seen in years. I mean, I know it's got a picture of like a purple silhouette of Black Lotus Soldier on it, but I haven't honestly seen that in years. So I don't know exactly what it does, and to be quite honest, I don't really care. Um, Formula Synchron is one of those cards that looks like it's going to be not as big when now it's off the ban list, because Synchros are practically dead, apart from a few ones like Black Rose Dragon, Stardust Dragon, uh. Did I say Black Rose? Uh, Black Rose. Dragon, Stardust Dragon, and Brio with maybe a Mistworm thrown in there, and the Churi cards obviously. Synchros basically are no longer seen in play. So, apart from the main cards, not a lot of them are seen in play. Um, so, former Synchro, I don't think it's going to hit too hard. I don't really don't think it does, will. Um, that's all of it really for the OCG list. I mean, granted, I'll do my, I'll, give, I'll obviously do my own report on the band list in another. How many days is it actually? Uh, comes out on the first. That's one, two, three, three weeks, and four weeks, twenty-one. That's twenty-three days. Twenty-three days to the next band list, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, twenty-three days to the next band list. Uh, let me know what you think about this list. Whether you think it's actually going to be like worth it or not, whether it's um whether you what how you think it's going to affect the game, leave it in a comment, do a video response. Um who knows, I don't care. Uh just leave the information in any way you see fit. Even send me a mail and I'll do a follow up video to it. Or to this one. Um so yeah, that's pretty much all of it for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and uh that's it. Um, also, there is an Ojama the Bomb YouTube account now on Facebook because I couldn't link this to my actual. Um, I couldn't link my YouTube to the Ojama Bomb fan page because it's acting dodgy. So I had to create an actual YouTube on um, my Facebook account for it. So make sure you go friend that and you'll get all the latest updates uh, of any videos I upload or comments or something like that. Uh, then also make sure you look for the Ojama Bomb fan page. I'll be on that um as well, putting links up. And that's basically it. Uh, yeah, I've got Twitter at Ojama, well at Ojama the Bomb. So, so I'm um, going to there. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Ojama the Bomb.
Thank you for love. I'll catch you later.